Hello, I'm Tony Papa from Pro Media Gear, here to show you our newest lineup of carbon fiber tripods, the 34 series. 34 millimeter top legs. I've got two three sections, and two four section units available. Stay tuned as I discuss the features and benefits of this amazing tripod. On this 34 millimeter series tripod, we've got a ton of features in it. We've got these heights, so you can see the difference here. I've got with me right here our smallest three section, the 343 comes in at just 51 inches. However, when you got a ball head on it, it's the perfect height for a lot of people for portraiture and other type of photography. It's big brother here, we got the 343L. This one's gonna get you up to 59 inches tall. We've got a four section that's also 59 inches. It's gonna be able to get compact, be more of a travel size, break down for a backpack, really carry friendly. And then we've got the tallest one, the 344L. That one's going to get you up to 71 inches tall. It's going to be great for anybody that's shooting possibly with a gimbal or just wants to get above the crowd. This is the tripod for you. All right, let me show you the features put here on the apex of our 34 series, 34 millimeter diameter top tube. We've got 10x layer carbon fiber with a multi-pattern weave. Makes this stuff extremely durable and extremely lightweight. On the apex here, We've incorporated a large spirit level, or bubble level, whatever you want to call it. This is going to be great, easily visible, so you can get that tripod nice and level quickly. Also, as you rotate around here, I've got a quarter 20 with anti-rotation stops in there. So you could put something like a magic arm or even a cold shoe, so you can mount other accessories from the tripod. Another feature on top is we've got a 3816 standard screw so you can mount anything from ball heads, gimbals, and other accessories with a nice pointy set screw that you can tighten up from underneath to keep it from going anywhere. Also, as you can see, this plate here is held on by six Allen key screws. You can actually pop that out. This is a modular tripod. You're going to be able to put on something like a bowl, which I'll show you in a second. As you can see, it's right here. It's a 75 millimeter bowl that insets into a dish that mounts directly onto our tripod. After you look past the apex, you can see on our 34 millimeter diameter leg, we have aluminum collars for the leg, as well as these really awesome push-pull adjustable leg feature, which is gonna let me go into one of three positions. And it's splayed out, this tripod goes down to approximately four inches. Once you get it to the position you want, you just push it in, put it down, that's it. The mechanism that we have here and that we use isn't just a screw that tightens it down, it's actually a tensioner. So once you do it with the Allen key once, it's designed not to become loose and also hold that tension throughout all leg functions. Unlike some tripods, when you wrench it back and forth, this could become loose. We've designed around that. All right. The last thing that we've got here on my three section is we have a stainless steel insert on the bottom of the foot that's going to allow you to quickly take it out, flip the spike over, put it back in, and then go shoot outside and really dig into the earth and keep that tripod stable. As you can see, I flipped the tripod over with a couple of counterclockwise rotations. You're able to unscrew the rubber non-marring foot and inside is a nice stainless steel spike. There's also a rubber gasket on the inside of there so that to prevent sand, dirt, water, and grime from getting into the tripod. So you should be able to just take your fingers and go ahead and unscrew one of these. But if you can't, because I can't, what you're going to do is just take the Allen key. What you're going to do is take an Allen key, go ahead and put it through the hole, and go ahead and just unscrew it. Once it becomes loose, it's easy. You can see the gasket there, the entire spike. I'm going to go ahead and put it in from the other side. Tighten it up. If you want, you can put the Allen key or any object through it. Go ahead and tighten it back down until it's snug. Put that back in my pocket for later. Then reinsert the leg, spike into the leg there. Tighten it down, and that's it. I've now included the stainless steel spike and installed it on top of the leg. I'm going to do this to the other two. Go ahead and get out there and get shooting.
On this Apex, as you can see, I've removed the 3816 flat mount and installed our 75mm bowl. This bowl is easily adjusted on the bottom and it's going to allow me then to move it around a couple degrees so you can actually level your tripod to the best of its ability, then go ahead and level your ball head, gimbal, or whatever you have on top here. It's that simple. You're just going to loosen onto the knob down here, be able to have some free adjustments, make it level on top, tighten it back down, and you're all set. As you can see here, I went ahead and installed our Pro Media Gear BH1 Pro Series ball head on top of the 75mm bowl, just to give you some size comparisons. It pairs up and matches really well with a nice sizing for such a great tripod. We've got the 34 series tripod splayed out on the ground here. As you can see, the approximate 4 inch height from the apex to the ground gives you plenty of clearance for a 75mm bowl without touching the ground, so that way you can get in there Move it, maneuver it around, set it how you want, and get those shots you need. In conclusion here on my 344, it breaks down to about 21 inches. It's perfect for travel, vacation, and many photographer needs. It's lightweight, approximately 4 pounds, and packs up nice and easy. Now here I've got our 42 series, the big brother. This Pro Series carbon fiber tripod breaks down, but not quite as small, and is approximately 6 pounds. So as you can see on the two, pick the one that works best for you. Visit ProMediaGear.com for more information or see your local retailer.